Welcome to the wonderful world of layers in Gravity Sketch. Layers are your organizational buddies, helping you divide your design into manageable chunks. Think of them as different drawers in a chest, each holding various objects, yet all contributing to the overall design. Let's open up layers to explore how they can help us streamline our workflow. Press the blue button on your non-drawing hand controller. Navigate down to Layer to begin exploring the organizational wonders it offers. By using the grab trigger, let's place the menu within the workspace. Now, you can see this chair has three layers, one for sketching, one for lines, and one for the seat. Each layer organizes different parts of the design, making it easier to work on. Notice the sketch layer highlighted with a purple outline, signaling it as the active layer. Any sketching done now will be stored in this layer. The total number of layers is also displayed at the bottom right corner. You can also toggle visibility on or off by pressing the eye icon on various layers, allowing you to focus on specific aspects of your design without distraction. Press on the lock icon to lock your layer for editing ensuring it remains unaltered even while visible, providing a safeguard against unintended changes. The opacity slider allows you to adjust the transparency of a layer, providing a way to lessen or heighten visibility to your liking, which can be particularly useful when working on intricate designs or comparing layers. Here I demonstrate how to toggle visibility between layers and use the opacity slider showcasing how these features enable a clearer view and better control over your design elements. If you have many layers visible but quickly want to focus on one layer, press the magnifying glass icon. This will make only that layer visible, simplifying your view. To revert and make all layers visible again, just press the cross icon. To create a new layer, press the plus icon. Once the new layer appears, name it by selecting the text field next to it, ensuring it reflects its content or purpose. Naming layers is a good practice to keep your project organized and easily navigable as you delve deeper into your design. Now you can see that the layer bears the name you provided, reflecting its purpose and aiding in a structured workflow. To delete a layer, simply grab the layer with the grab trigger. While holding the grab trigger, press the undo button and the layer will be deleted. Note, when deleting a layer, it's not reversible. Be sure before you delete, ensuring you don't lose important work. To rearrange layers, simply grab the layer you wish to move using the grab trigger, then drag it to its new position among the other layers. This allows you to organize your layers in a way that suits your workflow making it easier to navigate through your design. If you have a multitude of layers to browse from, let's say 20, you can press the Finding Active Layer button to quickly identify the layer you are working on at the moment. This feature is a time saver, ensuring you're on the correct layer before proceeding with your design work. Thank you for following along in this tutorial. Today, we've explored the essential features of layers in Gravity Sketch. We delved into creating, naming, deleting, and rearranging layers, as well as toggling visibility and adjusting opacity to manage our design space efficiently. These functionalities are crucial for keeping our workspace organized, especially as our projects grow in complexity. Practice utilizing these layer features to enhance your design workflow, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.